guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. You're about to watch what I feel like is going to be maybe the most embarrassing video I've ever made. You're welcome. Don't forget that I am giving away a brand new pair of Power Beats to the subscriber that is most engaged during Vlogmas. Today I have for you the world's ugliest activewear haul. This haul was inspired by a couple months ago when I was out shopping at TJ Maxx with my mom. I came across this first item that I'm gonna show you. What? I saw these and I knew I needed to have them in my life. Puma baby, what is you doing? This was definitely in the clearance section. Picked it up for $8. But guess how much it retailed for originally? $50. Five. Also, if you own any of these pieces by chance, I'm not trying to offend you. They're just not my style. All right, let's try these on, shall we? Oh my goodness. These are so much worse on than I actually thought they would be. But what activity would these actually be appropriate for? Jenna Marbles. I have a new outfit for you for your next basketball game. Not gonna lie, they're pretty comfy. But do you wanna see the worst part? The lace on the sides? Zip off. Um, well. Actually, correction, they don't actually zip off. They just dangle here. <gasps> Guess you could like tuck them in. Now you have the sassy, sporty, chic stripe. Or you could like shove them in the pocket or you could just tie them. Next item. While we're on this Puma trend, let's get out the next item. These metallic shorts. Honestly, when I saw these in the clearance section at TJ Maxx once again, I didn't think they were half bad until I put them on in the dressing room. These were on clearance for $10. There's not an, oh, there is an original price tag. Let's see here, $45 for these little bad girls. You can't see it, but these are actually causing a painful amount of camel toe. See what I mean though? They look like a diaper. I feel like I'm about to go boxing. There's also no built-in underwear, so you'd just be putting on a show for anyone behind you. And you know what I thought would go really cute with those shorts? It's velvet. Mark New York performance. So here's the thing, I don't hate it. I think it would actually look really cute with a pair of jeans and I'll probably wear this. But for the gym, like it is thick, plushy, actual velvet. And that does not seem like a fun time to sweat in. Oh, for cute. Obviously not the ugliest shirt in the world, but why would anyone want to work out in it? There's like a line, fashion, activewear. Sometimes they can intermingle. For the most part, they should stay a little bit separate though. So, a little while back, I did an activewear haul from Fashion Nova, and they really had some bizarre pieces. But this one took the cake. I didn't show you it. I was saving it specifically for this video. They are the Alaya pants. $24.99, I know I didn't pay that much for them. I'm pretty sure they were on clearance for like five bucks. Okay. What is this mesh? Quit trying to make mesh happen. It's not gonna happen. Not in this sense. Wow, I thought that these were gonna be shorts with mesh over them, kind of like the Puma ones. No. It's straight up underwear. And yes, this was in the active wear section, not the lingerie section, not the I'm going to a rave section. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the back of them. That's not even subtle. I could never wear these to the gym. Oh my gosh. But are they squat proof? Oh my gosh. Next, I have some leggings. These aren't necessarily as ugly as they are bizarre. These are just off of Amazon. You guys remember, this was an actual thing, I swear. Fitzbos would wear these to the gym. I don't, I don't know. It, they make me feel weird. They make me feel weird. You've got your tendons. You've got your muscles. Oh, my friend is calling me. Hello, this is Hope Scope. Yeah, I am. Okay, why do I not hate these? Like, they're actually kind of flattering. They're like flex leggings 2.0. Just taking butt contour to a whole nother level. 100% not squat proof. They are insanely soft. Like, Lululemon Align Legging Soft. What is this though? Is that what I look like down there? If so, I'm a little disturbed. Okay, these last two, I actually love them. But like I said, they're just a little bizarre and they're not actually socially acceptable to wear in public for some reason. It's kitties and puppies. Look at how majestic these are. It's every kind of kitty you could possibly imagine. And every kind of puppy. Are you guys dog people or cat people? If you don't like dogs though, you're a monster. Do you like my kitty leggings? I can't decide if these are more in your face or if the dog ones are. I like these because I feel like at a distance someone would be like, oh, she has like a cool camo pattern on her leggings. Then they'd get up close and be like, Ugh. they're kittens. 
This one right here in particular, I don't know. I just don't trust him. I've always had a really special place in my heart for Siamese ones. He's cute. Oh, he's a fluffy. These are great. <laughs> oh man. Who let the dogs out? Almost didn't stick that landing. These are everything. I mean, they really just look like pajamas. <laughs> I love them. Lee, what do you think of my dog leggings? Do you like them? All right, I'm going to pick a couple of my favorite awful outfits, and I'm actually gonna have you guys vote on which one I should actually wear to the gym via Instagram poll. Also, if you aren't already following Hope Scope Official, make sure to go do that because I do lots of fun polls and I do lots of giveaways and I post lots of cute active wear pics and every once in a while the occasional workout video. All right, so I think I'm gonna do the dog leggings. <laughs> we'll do the dog leggings and I think we'll pair them with this lovely velvet top. Should I put these in the poll? Oh my gosh, what if they win? And I'm just gonna let the first like hundred people determine which one I wear. Cause I don't wanna ruin the surprise for all of you. All right, I just posted on Insta and the live update is, ah, <laughs> the mesh ones are winning. I hate you guys if I have to wear those to the gym tomorrow. No, I don't, I love you. I signed myself up for this. <laughs> oh, it's close. Velvet Doggy's taking the lead. My sister just sent me a song to listen to while we're waiting. If you take a chicken, put it in a shell, what you have is a chicken turtle looking very well. If you take a pig and put it in there too, what you have is a pig and chicken tiny tiny zoo. Keyboard. <laughs> He's just sitting there horrified in the background the whole time. All right, we're at 75 votes. It's a 53-47 split. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Like it's anyone's game right now. All right, Velvet and Doggies win. Look how close it was though. I was not expecting that close of a vote. I really thought you guys would go one way or the other. All right, Fuel Fitness, here we come. Babe, I'm ready for the gym, what do you think? Oh, look at those. <laughs> Hi, speaking of a puppy. Happy good morning. <laughs> Sometimes my heart's running kinda empty These days my mind's feeling kinda heavy Where the love goes Where the love goes Where the love goes Hello! Happy good morning! Leo and I are back from the gym Leo and I, you didn't go to the gym. Needless to say, the velvet t-shirt did not make it much further than past the warm up, but these little bad girls, I think they were quite a bit see-through. But the good news is I don't think anybody really noticed because there was so much happening. What really disappointed me is no one said anything. I talked to like three people, just nothing. They were probably afraid to say something in case I like actually genuinely thought this was a good fashion decision and Leo and I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Vlogmas. Say bye Vlogmas! I'm blue, I'm indeed, I'm